Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and we're again playing on the brand new account playthrough. Now this is going to be a little bit of an interesting one because I have hopped into multiplayer Rev on Tule Coast and I found a server where somebody actually has tents set up, which means I can go unlock some of the outposts quite easily, like this one right here. Okay, that actually has a chance of being diamond right there and it's next to some level twos? Uh, is this guy- does this guy have his herd managed map open? I mean... Probably not, but I mean, we're gonna take that regardless. That is really, really cool. That is a potential diamond whitetail deer. Although, not gonna lie, this kinda has me on high alert as this is the very first thing that we have found. I really hope this isn't a modded server. Because that's always a possibility, but... I mean, seeing one level three or level two white tail with a chance of diamond next to two level twos doesn't necessarily mean anything. So hopefully it's just a false alarm, but it is a little bit strange that that's the very first thing that we find. We're going to have to search around some more just to verify that it's uh, not a cheated server. Let's see. Is this guy a diamond? I think it might be. Yes, that is a diamond. Holy crap. Okay, so we're going to save the harvest for now. Uh, just in case this isn't a legitimate server because as I said it is a little strange that a diamond is literally the first thing that we find so we're gonna go search around more of the map just to make sure but this is a great start if this is legit a bunch of uh, female capricallies that looks pretty normal so I, I think we're probably fine we got some black grouse over there one of them is a level two so I mean if I can get a shot on them I'll definitely take it that's a solid level two buck there and yeah, I mean, everything's looking normal. I think we did just get really lucky. And the first zone we checked was a diamond whitetail. That is awesome. Yeah, it seems like everything else is normal. So we just got really, really lucky. We need lots and lots of money on this playthrough to buy ammo and all of the equipment and tents and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and take a shot on two of these guys right here. That should be pretty nice right there, and we won't have shot too many to where it will risk deleting their zone as I try to be as courteous to uh, the other people on the server as possible. And I did go ahead and purchase the uh, high caliber hunting pack here on this playthrough as well. So we've got all the new weapons, which means we got that beautiful 300 AR as well as the 10 gauge semi-automatic shotgun, which is really going to help us out a ton early on like this. It's going to be a fantastic thing to have early on. There's our whitetail bucks. That's a 215 right there. Nice little shot with a 308. And that leveled us up as well. Let's go ahead and drop a skill point into probably spotting knowledge. I'd say that's a little bit more important right now because I would like to be able to see like score estimates and stuff like that very soon. Ooh, there we go. That's a level six brown bear. Let's get a shot into him as well, and maybe her too? Ah, uh, she's not really going to give us a shot, unfortunately. Oh my gosh! Holy crap! That's a nine legendary brown bear! Oh my gosh, and I think that might be a spirit as well. I think that's a level nine spirit bear! Holy crap, man! That is insane! Gosh, this server just has me, it has me on edge. This is the second diamond potential animal that we have found since we joined. And we only joined like maybe 10 minutes ago. So it is a little strange. It's got me worried that this server isn't legit, which would be absolutely tragic because I love the spirit brown bear. I guess the only way that we can really know if something is up with this server is to just keep searching and if we keep finding good stuff to a point where it's just too good to be true then it probably is too good to be true but there's our level six bear right there 2359 and this is the thing like most of the stuff that we're seeing is very like average levels so i think we're probably fine it's just man it makes me worried this is why i don't do a ton of multiplayer videos anymore because it's really tough to know if the servers you're on are legitimate or if they're modded unless it's just so to the extreme where it's immediately apparent there's a level two rock tarm again right next to it but you know this is why i'm not going to tax anything until we actually can verify for a fact that this server's okay because it is just a little bit fishy 
that we found two max levels already. Or not max levels, but two diamonds already. So the wind is really not in our favor. I might just have to back up and take a really long shot on this guy. I didn't want to have to do that, but sometimes it's really all that you can do. All right, so we're going to try and loop around so we can get a better angle on this beautiful brown bear over here. Let's hope that we can get over to him without scaring him away because I don't know exactly where, where he was. I just marked like right in front of where I had seen him. Five medium. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so, man. Say it ain't so. Oh, uh, it's looking more fishy <laughs> every time we look at something. No, there's no way. I wouldn't think that people would even be able to mod at this point because we just had an update. We just had an update. So, like, shouldn't all of the cheat developers have to update their cheats before they'd be compatible with the new update? I mean, I don't know if that's actually how it works with Call of the Wild, but in most games, like, you have to update mods anytime the game has an update. So... I would have thought it would have been the same here, but this server is really fishy. This server is really, really fishy, man. And our bear is gone as well. I have no clue where he went. Either I have found like the most lucky server ever, or it's a cheated server. I mean, that group of geese is fine, but it's still, still just so weird. We found three diamond animals or three diamond potential animals, two max level, one of them being a uh, level two diamond whitetail, like just a little weird. It's a little bit weird, man. Yeah, that's a level three whitetail. Oh my. Oh, and that's a great one. That's a great one. Yeah, the server's modded. It, there's no way that it's not. There's no way that it isn't modded. It has to be modded. There's no way it isn't. Oh my gosh. Talk about heartbreaking, man. Here I thought that we got lucky finding a, a diamond whitetail and then spotting a spirit bear that was a level 9 legendary, but no, this is 100% modded. So I'm definitely not going to keep any of the trophies from this particular server, as you guys probably know by now, I pride myself on having a trophy lodge that is just legitimate trophies. I'm not going to ever keep a trophy from a modded server because it just does not feel right to me. Guys, there is so many better ways to get the trophies that you want than playing on a modded server or modding your own game. There's so many things that you can do instead, like herd management, which naturally increases the amount of trophies that you find. It's a completely legitimate method that you can use as an alternative to modding. Because <laughs> not only is it something the devs actually approve of, but you don't risk messing up your game like you do when you mod your files. I don't know why more people don't do herd management instead of this stuff. Because <laughs> this is just, this is just crazy, man. Well, like I said, we're not going to keep this, but I'm going to shoot it and we will take a look at it at least because that's kind of a wonky looking guy and I want to get a, a screenshot of him. I'll never understand how people can mod the game and still have fun with it. To me, that would just take away every ounce of what makes the game so great. And that is the hunt for the trophy. If you eliminate all of the good parts of it, which is the actual work you put into it, then that just takes away all the fun. And like I've said before, I don't care if people mod their games. Just keep it out of multiplayer. Keep it to your single player. Don't try to pass your trophies off as being legitimate when you know for a fact they're modded. And then we'd be fine. Nobody would complain about it to the extent that they do. But so many people bring this type of stuff into multiplayer and ruin the experience for anybody that joins. It's just unfortunate. And like I said, we're not going to keep this. So I'm just going to hit escape and back out because I don't want to have any illegitimate trophies in my lodge. But while we're in here, we might as well go check out what else is here. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll get to see a fabled piebald in the flesh because that is actually something I would like to see in game. Yeah, that's an albino. <laughs> what, what else we got? We got an albino doe over there. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything else too crazy at this particular lake, but, oh uh, man, there's a trophy at every single lake. Just, I, d I just don't see how this is fun. I really don't see how this would be fun. Well, <laughs> that's a super rare tufted duck. <laughs> uh, this is just ridiculous, man. I mean, I'm not going to hit that, but that's very crazy. That's very wild. <laughs> just 
<laughs> just never stops. Just never stops. Yeah, that's a level three widgeon. Cause you know, why not add that to the list of diamonds that this server has? <laughs> oh my gosh, of course. Cause yeah, why wouldn't there be a great one moose on the map as well? Oh my gosh, man. Well, <laughs> I think this is going to be the last multiplayer session we hop into tonight because I am a little bit bummed after running into this. Of all things, the first server we join is this. So I think we're probably just going to come back tomorrow and try again, try to get some actual legitimate multiplayer servers where we can find some real trophies instead of this. Well, <laughs> At least we got to look at a couple great ones today, though, as I said at the beginning, I'm not keeping either of these. I'm not keeping any of the trophies in this because it's just, it's not, it just doesn't feel right, man. It just doesn't feel right. And it honestly bums me out seeing this type of stuff in multiplayer because it, it just ruins the experience. It's so tough to know what's legitimate nowadays whenever you're in a multiplayer server that it kind of just ruins my enjoyment of multiplayer. But you guys kind of already know that. I don't really do much multiplayer server hopping content anymore. And this is one of the many reasons why. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this uh, video. It was a fun one until it wasn't fun anymore. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.